to RRC main bracket number 115. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of people that showed up for this one. A lot of new people. I was happy to see that. Yeah, uh, always awesome seeing fresh blood. Oh, uh, yeah. I love seeing new players. That's what this stuff's for. But, you know, classic RRC fashion. Might as well just get right into it. I have my uh, wonderful co-commentator here. Noble, is that how I'm gonna say this? Can I call you Mr. Yes. Noble? Whatever makes yeah. you happy. Yeah, Mr. Noble makes me happy. <laughs> All right, and uh, for game one, we're gonna have Kurosagi versus Heathen. Yep. I'm correct. All right, sick. I know a decent amount about Heathen. He's been, uh, I'm pretty sure he switched off of Crag back to Claren. Just been grinding that out. Koro had, plays a lot of different characters. Plays, uh, she plays like uh, Crag and uh, stuff like that. Crag, Ori, I think Shovel Knight too. So uh, they have definitely have a lot of counter picks. So I'm excited to see how this goes up on Tower of Heaven. Yeah, just feeling each other out. Ooh. Yeah, this is where you see like the game plan starting. You know, you see Heathen just going for the down tilts and Kuro just kind of swing, trying to see what works, see what happens, see what might hit, yeah. what we can combo off of. Sometimes but, uh, a lot of uh, very good, solid uh, crag plays just learning how to jab properly. Oh, 100%. Knowing how to tilt boost crag is crazy, but right now Heathen just kind of putting Kuro away, but uh, this is a little bit of a rough part about fighting against crag, especially, you know, around RC is you can mess up plenty, and you might just get washed because Crag will just kill you. Oh yeah, Crag is definitely that uh, definitely like a gatekeeper character. Like, you know, very. It, it's it's actually interesting because um, Crag, I would say, has a very low like uh, skill floor, but like an incredibly high skill uh, ceiling. So um, so a lot of players can find a lot of early success. Uh, with Crag, and then they might start tapering off once they get like a little, uh, start finding like more experienced players, like know how to gimp him, things like that. But um, we've seen some really like high level Crags like just pull off like the most amazing stuff with him, so I'm really looking forward to seeing some of that. Yeah. Akoro just getting an insane combo off there. He even just kind of struggling to keep up a little bit, but at the same time, the, the benefit of Claren, you know, is always the I can box you out and win 15 neutral exchanges, but it doesn't really matter there whenever you get hit by that up strong. A little bit of lead cl climb back from, because if you really want to, especially versus Claren in this matchup, you can just sit by a ledge. And you're fat and you have big button. So you can do a lot of different stuff, but Kuro, you know, opting for the approach going in and even, you know, playing that boxing out game. Ooh, good F strong. No taper though. Oh, and he's dodges. correct. Just barely missed it. Oh, just barely dying to that. Now I think he even um, he even might have wanted to pillar a little closer to ledge there. He didn't play claim. Ah, my pearl. I mean, <laughs> nah. sometimes it, I get a little flipped. <laughs> it happens. Don't worry about it. Oh, good parry. Nice parry. Hey, just an up strong. Yeah, just waiting for the landing. That's so smart right there. If they double jump towards center stage, free up air. If they just like retreat back, which is a smart thing to do, you get free uh, corner pressure. That's such a good decision. I love that. Yeah, very smart though. Like sometimes you can like rivals players can be like a little greedy, but sometimes just knowing when to wave out, let them land, punch the landing, really is the correct option. Hundred percent. This is a little bit of a tense last dog. You see the parries coming out. A little bit of a panic. Oh, good weight. There we go. Nair up strong. Ooh. This happens a lot in the last hits. A lot of cracks will just start double jumping. It's very careful. Just yeah, trying to get the approach. And clutch it out. That little back hit. Nice F strong from Eden, right? Taking game one. I like that. It can be a little rough sometimes fighting that whenever you don't have necessarily all your kill setups down. Because it's just. You're bouncing in between so many different things. 
and it, it can be a little hard to get that kill, but oh, for sure. Toro seeming to disagree a little bit, going on to Rano. This, uh, is, a, I, this is an interesting counter pick. Uh, do you play Rano, right? Yes, sir. Yes, so um, I think I've said this before, but uh, yeah, R Rano is usually considered to be like one of the roughest matchups to... Uh, if you're playing Rano, it's like one of the most rough matchups to go against Claren is like the typical consensus. There have been like some exceptions, like you know, there's there have been some detractors, but generally people think it's a very hard matchup for Rano to win. Like Claren has a very easy time uh, spacing him out. Uh, really takes advantage of it of his uh, lower airspeed. Mm -hmm. Has field to deal with needles. There's a lot of tools. But really curious to see how Kuro is going to uh, manage with the new character. On the classic yeah. counter pit. Oh, you see the game plan immediately. Yeah. Oh, Throw yeah. that needle. Run away. Yeah, you love to see it. I love when um, people do that. My man. Oh, that's right. Uh, Heathen, you know, going in, not the turd. We'll, we'll see. But. Oh, oh the, the raw classic. tongue in neutral. I love it. <laughs> Taking a hefty 63 for that. Oh, and an F strong and, catching uh, and it a just nice catch with the uh, F strong. Ooh. Getting back down, fighting back. Double roll, you love to see it. This is hype. Yo, let's go. Oh, nice F tilt. Oh, oh, oh they're just learning. <laughs> oh, double. Yeah, you got DI out just a little bit on that one. Oh, oh. so close. But these Dude, are good tips. All the way back. Off loses the resources. This is going to be a rough recovery. But, oh. man. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Oh, we're living. a whole different game down there. Oh, like some no. rush down the resources again. Okay, we're going up. Oh, oh. oh. nice dodge. <laughs> and gets the, gets the F strong again. Beautiful. Rough reversal. A little bit, a little bit of a slow start turning into a, a full off stage game. But you know, Ethan just trying to get the stock back, get back into it. But you know, you're kind of seeing the Kuro game plan. You know, throwing down those needles, you know, hitting it with the tongue, getting some damage, just dashing back and forth. Yeah. And you've seen it work, it's a little it, it's, frustrating. You know, it doesn't look the flashiest, but you know what, if it works, it works. Yeah. Uh, normally, you know, a good way to get around that is just, you know, short hopping around it and just like waiting oh, for yeah. the Rano to approach. Because a lot of them will end up doing that. You've kind of seen it here a little bit, Kuro. Because once he even gets in, you can exploit a lot. Yeah. But Kuro with her game plan. Field would also be like a really great option to deal with that. Ooh. But I guess a side B. The, the classic move that hits you off guard. You never expect it. But it yeah. always comes out eventually. Yeah, landing with the combo. What do you got? DI you got DI out on those. Getting yeah. close. Ooh, oh, needle fear. I'm hitting. Yeah, you know, you're gonna need uh, more than one needle to usually to clench that out. And uh, most of the time rounds go for it anyway. There's no reason really not to it's sometimes. Like you don't get punished, it's just like if they yeah. know. Yeah. It's a, it's you know a DI you know. check. Uh, there's the field you're talking about. Counterplay yeah. coming out from Heathen. And I'm, I really think you're going to see uh, see Heaven get a little more comfortable now that they can't get harassed with needles. That Crow, oh, she's for looking for passing. this up strong right now. Can't really seem to find it. He's not giving it up. And, Ooh, uh, pur that purple? Oh. Wait, that was at 140. And I'm a, it's, I'm a, it's, a, it's a nasty move, and you know, was at 140. I'm going to act surprised anyway. That was crazy. Ah, uh, the tongue classing. It very, very catching there. Ooh. Oh, this is so tense. You, you kind of see it now. Like, Ethan's just like, it's hard to deal with, you know, just needles being thrown at you like that. But a lot of times you just want to, especially if you have a plat near you, you just get on top of that. And then I am, uh, I'm really going to feel bad for all the uh, Smash newcomers for uh, when Rivals 2 drops. Just because uh, I think Tongue actually uh, breaks shield in Rivals 2. <laughs> I hope not. I'm, I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> hey, it does. It, it, but yeah. It, it does. It's command grab. Yes. But regardless, even getting the F strong, getting back into it, Kuro yep. is still playing the slow game plan. Got 71 on the board. And, you know, it's now, still pretty even. Like, it's not... This is not unwinnable for even. Oh. But, you know, open my mouth. Yeah, you had to say that, didn't you? I... I eh? <laughs> it happens. You know, I, I gotta say, though, a uh, little, little bit unorthodox, but a uh, really successful counter pick. Yeah, I, I I don't really think the um, 
Yeah, Jules is definitely the play there, because like you know, you could kind of tell when well, there's no platform. Oh yeah, nearby, he, he was hard stage. to get around. Yeah, it, it was just FD two for a while. Yeah, and those needles were very effective there. Very effective counter pl counter pick. And speaking of which, he then switching on to the crag. I don't know if they still dual main this character, but I know they have one. And I, I've heard different things about this matchup. I either hear it's awful for Craig or it's even. And I hear no in between. The, the funny thing is, I've actually like seen some very high level Crags actually say it's like, oh, this is this should never be uh, losable for Crag. Uh, every time I watch it, uh, I feel like like ZV. I remember saying that's like, yeah, that's that should be like on. No reason why you should lose, which I'll understand, but you know. Uh, ZB takes are the funniest thing ever. Those are just there to laugh at. Don't just worry about ZB it. Just ZB takes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, to be fair, it's like, come on, like all rivals, top players have bad takes. Uh, we all have bad takes, maybe because it's just a balanced game. Maybe. That's why we love that. Oh, could have reacted somewhere around there, but barely missing it. This is so close. And this is a. The key, the key to winning here is definitely a lot of rock. Yeah. And seeming to be a lot of down B. I don't think Koro knows how to parry it by chance. It's, it's uh, a tough move. To parry. Yeah. Uh, fun fact about that sort of stuff right there. There is a bot that you can get. Uh, it's called the train mode mod pack. And you can practice stuff like that. So always try and check that sort of stuff out. But right now, Koro getting that F strong. Going into an edge guard situation. Ooh. And yeah, this manages is... to double jump out of the, the up air string. Ooh. Ooh, and getting a little greedy there, trying to go for an F strong. I d oh, that's dead. 202, living. This is a little bit of a rough part about Rockfall in that little situation right there. You, at the very edge of a platform on the corner, you either have to like just wide swing at somebody or you have to plat drop on them. So both ways, it's very obvious how you have to approach. So it can be a little rough in that one little spot. Because this stage is, I want to kill you the stage. But surprisingly not, surprisingly, it's a very defensive stage because of that reason. Ooh. That, that was a weird angle on that. I almost hit. Oh, Core going back to the game plan. Love to see it. Love the moonwalking. Oh. Oh, that Bailey didn't oh. hit. That's so close. That was going to be Heaton's kill. Yikes. That purple. <laughs> Welcome to Rock Ball, yeah. baby. And it's a really rough position to be in because uh, Krag getting that lead is uh, way worse than like the other way around. You know, you never want like to give those heavyweight characters a lead. Yeah. Oh, wait. This might be an edge guard. Oh. Oh. Okay. And, uh, there we go. It's, it's even. I gotta say, I usually don't see Rano's like using F strong this often for edge guard situations, but it's really working out for uh, Kuro. She's only really been using it on the. On Rockwell so far, I haven't really seen it in that one. Maybe it's just a, a comfort thing for Craig. But right now, he didn't try to hit that approach. He's just trying to anti-air, throwing out the down to cover the ground, jumping up in the air with an air. Classic. Yep, Bro, seemingly really just, you know, doing a little mind play with the rock. You know, am I going to hit it? Am I going to, like, refrow? Yeah. It seems a little bit rough, but Koro has the Rano punish. Oh, and actually did the, uh, the Gimp. She would have been dead there. That's so close. No. Oh, would they have been dead? Like, couldn't she have uh, just, um... Uh, maybe. Just wall jumps? Oh. Oh, oh. Does it, no, oh. still has resources. Ooh, that was so close. <gasps> because hey, he has strong hey, comeback. That was crazy. Great uh, comeback. Uh, that was wild. He's best of uh, five seconds. Yep. Yeah, that was uh, definitely a, bunt, a butt clutcher right there. That was... Uh, you had to... Uh, play a lot around all that because there's just crag at you know all those high percents is very very scary because at, he has very good defensive tools so getting in on him and then trying to max it out without overextending and just dying can be a little rough but props to Korra there she finds the kill gets the game and we're on to game four going to spirit tree and heathen is going back to thanksgiving the first one I love that movie. <laughs> oh no, I'm missing the side B. Uh, very classic. The, uh, that's a that's a very common uh, high percent punish, but uh, 
Usually you're gonna want to get get a tongue in yeah, at that uh, low percentage with uh, parry. Yeah, almost always the optimal punish. But you know, oh. I get it. You know, you, sometimes when you get a parry like that early, like you kind of just panic. You're just like, yeah, just give me my free percent. Yeah, I don't know if Healing got caught there without a jump, but regardless, Kuro with the stock lead. And so far, has proved that whenever she gets a lead, it, it gets a little rough because she starts slowing it down to needles, which just keeps it up with the pretty good punish game she's been keeping up with. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice down tilt, low extension. Yep, that's a very, very nice uh, coverage for the stage, just down tilting at ledge. Soon Core back to implementing that game plan, throw the needle, wait for the counter. It sounds like it's so simple, but it makes so much sense. You know, like it, you know, it, there's a reason why, like you know, Rando and Zerburn like consistently have like you know very high placements in the top 50s. Oh, you yeah, know, even sense. the most like simple tools go so far in this game. Yeah, but Koro, you know, back to like you kind of noticing this is one little problem. Sometimes I see whenever I see people trying to play defensively, is that as soon as they take your stock, you're back to playing aggressive. Players are so ready for that. If you keep on slowing it down, you probably have a little bit more success. But regardless, oh yeah, you know, you were doing good when you know you were just like you know holding back, kind of annoying them and pestering them, and it's like now you're giving them what they want. Yeah, it's all about the whip punish. And regardless, barely missing her own whip punish with the F strong there, and getting hit by an F Heathen's F strong. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm making it back. Yeah, being around like this percent a... can be a yeah. little rough because like this I... is like confirmed percent, is it not? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Chris mm. Kuro did uh, ban Spirit Tree. Very good stage for Claren. Gets uh, very good coverage, like with those platforms with her sword. I know a lot of players, like including myself, uh, don't really mind Claren on the stage because it's just like, sure, Claren does good, but so does my character, so I don't really care too much. Because this is like, I'm pretty sure anybody you ask in this game think the character does really well on the stage. Oh, yeah. So, One thing, it's, uh, it's classic. One thing I, I know is like uh, Curl isn't doing that I think would even like would really ascend her, her needle game is uh you know you can charge those needles like and you can even oh. uh, be parry butt taking taking the game yeah and who, taking who the needs set. charging needles yeah that, that's a that's you know pretty much how you want to fight Claren there you know just like dashing around waiting for the whiff and then she finds it down tilt finds the up strong takes the set with the Rano so props to Kuro taking. The, the first set of the day. Yeah. Oh, we got a long way to go, buddy. Uh, so many sets to be played. I'm so excited. They are going to go on to fight Xena. But I think first we're going to be watching Dr. Fizz versus Sluggish. Uh, I know a good chunk about Dr. Fizz. 